Hi guys, welcome. Hi, welcome. Hello everybody. Who have we got? <laughs> I'm puffed out. I just had to race off and grab my drink. Kenny, welcome. Dawn, welcome. Rochelle, welcome guys. Hi Helen, welcome. Nick and Tina, hey. Shannon, hi. <sighs> I'm puffed out already. Rochelle, hi. Um, Rochelle got two. Laurie, hi. Candy, hello. Christy, hello. Loretta, hello. No, no, you're good. Welcome, guys. Come in. <laughs> Hi, Diane. Welcome. Linda, hello. I had to race off and grab my water. And Miss Shadow. Miss Shadow is here with us. Say hello, Shadow. Shadow, say hello. Say hello. Say hello, Grumpy. Say hello, Grumpy. Oh. <laughs> Nani's playing out in the lounge room. I can hear her barking. Look at this sook. Look at this sooky boba. You sook. <laughs> Welcome, Shadow. Let's get my camera back there. Somewhere. Get it back there and my froggy in the background there. <laughs> A panic attack, why? What did I do? I missed it. <laughs> hello, hello. Hi Sue, welcome. Hi Donna, welcome. Sorry guys, I'm just flicking back through the... Hi Joey, welcome. Hi Debbie, welcome. I just got a notification that I'm live. Aren't I lucky? Ah, <laughs> yeah, no, I had it off because um, I was racing to grab a drink. <laughs> I got some books to go through today. I have three, three, one PDF and two physical books. You know, we finished live last Monday and... Um, about 10 minutes after I finished live, I received this by the postie. So I did say that it was supposed to be coming. This is the Coleridge Wild book. So I'm going to open that one. I haven't looked at it yet. And um, I haven't really looked at this one either yet. I've kind of done a quick flip to have a sort of, you know, a look at what's going on in there. But I haven't really had a good look at that either. So hi, Mousy Deb. How are you guys? Come in. I hope you've had a good weekend or are having a good weekend. <laughs> um, I had uh, my hair cut this weekend, I played with Nani and uh, we actually tidied up our little area for Shadow and gave her a new scratching post and a new bed uh, area which had been made up and um, She's been very much enjoying that, so that's what we did this weekend. Bit of fun, bit of shopping, bit of cleaning, you know, all the stuff that happens. It's spring, so I think um, that's the time when people just want to clean stuff out. And, you know, you can open your windows and things are starting to get nice again. <laughs> Hi, Phoenix. Welcome. Hi, Barbara. Welcome. Hello, Alicia. Welcome. Alicia is playing with Nani somewhere out there. I could hear her barking a second ago. <laughs> Having some fun out there. So I actually got a Coleridge Wild from uh, Cool Craft Books. Or Cool Craft Book. Off Etsy. Now they're actually on holidays at the moment. So Moon's uh, not selling at right now. But I did pop the link where I actually bought it. So if you do want to keep an eye on it. And get updates when the shop reopens uh, you can do that and order it from there this one i pre-ordered on amazon and uh, then sean told me that uh, you could get it directly from the publishers and because we're in australia um i'm in australia it's it you know it's better price so i went and had a look and it was it was about five dollars cheaper than getting it on amazon us um 
but I have popped the Amazon US and the uh, Blue Angel website in the description below the video so uh, you could get it from those. I think um, Book Depository has it as well, most likely Booktopia, all of those places should have it now. Um, it is out. I love Jasmine's books. There's only one book I've actually drawn in though, and that was the very first one. And uh, when I, after doing that very first one in the book, I hated it, so I've actually copied them on my own paper after that. So all of the books have pretty much not got anything in them. I hope she does another kind of Disney type one, because uh, she's done like Cinderella and all sorts of beautiful images, so it'd be nice to see that and the last one I'm doing was actually suggested by Loretta um, she contacted me said I really like this book what do you think and um, it is the dragon dragons assorted by Elizabeth Rose best um, so we're going to do a flip through of that today as well and I've got a little bit of rock music with that one so we can have a rock out uh, for us here in Australia on a Monday morning and for you guys on a Sunday afternoon or evening loads of fun Loads of fun. Hi, Betty. Welcome. Hi, Grayson. Welcome. Come in. I was popped in there when I was chatting away. Oh, dear. Busy, busy, busy. Thank you, Kenny. Thumbs up would be awesome. It is an adorable book, Loretta. <coughs> <coughs> and we'll go through that. So we'll start with... The one I haven't opened because you know I'm dying to open it so I purchased this one uh, from now the reason I get it from Coleridge Wild or there's a uh, from Cool Craft Book or I think East 70 books have it as well um, is because it's French and I can't get them on Amazon and things like that it's weird so um, yeah Strange. French books always cost more too for some reason. Anyway, I'm popping the link up for where I purchased it from. It's uh, just there, so if you want to have a look. As I said, she's on holiday, so you won't be able to purchase it. And this is what came in the package. Uh, she always seems... Moon is from Cool Craft Books. She always seems to send me some little extras. So uh, there's usually something extra in the pack. And this time I got a little postcard and some stickers. I think they're stickers. You know what? I don't think they are stickers. I think they're tattoos. No, it's one big sticker. Pretty cute. <laughs> Pretty cute. It always comes wrapped up in this beautiful ribbon and paper. She's very, very, very um, beautiful and loves to pay attention to detail and give something special to everyone who orders from her. Usually it takes around two weeks for me in Australia to get it and she's in Korea, so... Um, I think that's pretty good. Let's have a look. Yeah, I can't get into it. I can't believe I left it for a whole week without looking at it. I'm so very excited. <laughs> oh, here we go. All of his books have this little hanging thing on them, probably for shop displays. So Coleridge Wild 4 is actually an animal based one. So we did have a few bugs and birds and things like that, but this has actually got beasties in it as well. So yeah, I do too, Helen. She always sends something special and she always sends you a message to make sure you got the book and um, well, she sends me a message and uh, if I liked it and things like that too. So also she sends little updates if you're purchased from her before. She'll send you updates when she's got new books coming or when pre-sales are on as well. So um, that is a beautiful image. <laughs> Look at him, he's so awesome. I love it. <laughs> I love tigers. Yeah, I know Loretta, it's hard because you've got to put the postage and everything on as well. Fox. Oh, my camera's really bad today. Let's see if I can get that uh, brightness down slightly. Oops. Huh. We'll see. 
So this is by Emmanuel, Emmanuel Collin. I've done all of the books I think as flip throughs on the channel um, and I've done a, a live video with one of them colouring a whole picture and there's a, it's actually bent I just realised but that's probably me because it's uh, been here for a whole week and it's been bumped and probably dropped. Black Panther. <laughs> Look at a, looks like a hawk or is it a, yeah it looks like a hawk. I love her dreadlocks. Another tiger. Cheetah or leopard. I love the bear. This is absolutely gorgeous. And I love her facial expression in that one too. The bear's so placid looking though. <laughs> Very, very cute. There's four of them now. Um, they don't all have animals. The others have birds and bugs in them. But they're all girls uh, with fancy hair and, you know, things in their hair. I like that the animals are really quite a big part in these pictures, actually. They're beautiful. There's a gorilla. Look at her face, she's so serious. They are, Betty, I agree. I love big cats too. All cats, actually. I think that might be a little ladybug in her hair there. It's a crow or a raven. Depends on the size and the colour of the eyes, usually. There's a lion. Oh, I love her hair, look at it. And roses are one of my favourites. I really like that one. A deer. A wolf. I love her eye in that one. And we're back to the start. So there's two copies of each image in the book. Just go back over them again so you can have another quick look. I think the horse is cute too. Open it. <laughs> Bear. Panda. Gorilla. Oh, I love them. They're gorgeous. I think that one's my favourite. So you get to have a go of two images. Uh, doing different colours perhaps or having a second go at it. Anyway, that's that one. There's a back cover on this one. Back cover. So this is okay so this is a normal size book so it's actually a little bit smaller about the same width. So the other books are all exactly the same. They all have the little tabby thing on the top. They've all got ring binding, same colouring as well, and uh, also the same paper. So we've got number three, number two, and number one. They're all very cute. But I think so far, I think I'm thinking number four has probably become one of my favourites. I love the images in that one. Beautiful, beautiful. 
<laughs> I'll pop the uh, link again. Hi, Blue, welcome. And uh, we'll move on. Kathy, honey, did you email me, sweetie? I wanted to know because I've got to get you that prize. Email me. <laughs> All right. Um, the second book is Alice in Wonderland by Jasmine Beckett Griffith. All of the books are exactly the same. They seem to be the same quality paper. Actually, this one seems quite smooth compared to the other ones. Let me have a look. seem to have lost my other books. Well that's a little bit upsetting. Oh wait. <laughs> Duh. Here it is. I forgot. I just did an image out of it. Get on me. <laughs> Duh. So don't mind me. So first book was a fantasy adventure. Second book was a Halloween and then mermaids and now we've got Alice in Wonderland. Hi Michelle, welcome. Hi Abby, welcome. <coughs> Hi anyone else that popped in there? Having a flick up there to see who's come in and what's been happening. Let's have a look at a new book. Oh, oh, oh. I was going to feel to see the difference in the page quality. See, I think the first book is a little bit rougher. Well, maybe it's the same. I don't know. I can't tell. I won't ever colour in the books because I don't like the paper. Um, the front cover is a removable cover. So uh, you can see there. Let me just uh, lift this camera up slightly. See if we can see a little bit more there. It's not really any better. Excuse me again. <laughs> ah, I think I got most of the book this time. Bear with me. Alright, I just moved <laughs> moved the camera up a little bit and I didn't want to get you all dizzy, so that's probably the best way to do it. And of course now it's facing too far back. Can we see the whole book now? Much better. Hi, Jay Beth. Welcome. Okay, let's try that again. So the cover is a removable cover. So if you're wanting to keep your book cover good, you can while you're colouring, you can take the cover off, which is what I usually do uh, when I'm copying and things. So it's so thick. Look at that. Very thick. Now, I think uh, others have already done flip-throughs of it, but I'm going to have a really good look at it because I haven't really. It's a bit of an introduction and a message from Jasmine. guys think oh she's cute of the eyes that are in some of these I'm a bit yeah I like these pretty eyes that she does and um, I noticed in this one there's quite a few without that so what do you guys think of that I think this might be one of my first ones 
that's cute shadow so I'm not sure if I like the style of eyes here hi Sh Shonda welcome Yes, Shadow. That one's cute. Wow. Yes, that's cute. You really need to sit there, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I like the eyes darker too. Really, Christy, there. Some of them are a little bit detailed. I noticed that some of these have got like grey instead of black, which is different. I haven't seen that before in her images. Uh, so the front part of it's really black and the background sort of grey coloured. I've noticed that with a few. I love him too. He's cute. But yeah, I've noticed that the eyes are slightly different in some of her most recent paintings. Or well, maybe they're paintings that were from further, like, way back. See these ones? I don't, I don't know. They're just different. I like the eyelashes. So again, this is black here in the foreground and the background there is all in grey. It's like a grey scale, it's not black. Yeah, Michelle, I'm not sure if it's from, because this one's from 2009, so I'm not sure if it's the older stuff that was, this is a 2008 one that was slightly different. Two thousand and eleven. She's got eyelashes. That's a strange looking rabbit. <laughs> Scary looking. Hi, Linda. Welcome. Yes, Shadow is um, sitting right next to me. Alice's tea party, two thousand and eleven. Yeah, maybe it's the older style I was thinking. This is 2011 too. Maybe I'm wrong. I mean, we'll find out. We'll have a look through and see what dates the others are. But that one's kind of cool. That reminds me of one of the ones she did for Patreon recently. 2009. No, I think it was just... Don't know. Is that, she's got uh, eyelashes in that one. Can you guys see that okay? I don't need to change the focus. No, I think that was good. I can zoom a little bit in now that I've gone out so far because I can just zoom it to the edges of the book. <laughs> 2011. It is slightly blurish, isn't it? I think it's just the way my ca camera's angled actually. A little better. No, that one's 2009. I, the shape of the eyes are different though. I, they are different too. So even though uh, this is the older version, it's still got the nice lashes, but the eyes are a lot more wider in the those ones. Anyway, just something that they noticed. She's pretty. I've seen the original of that. It's beautiful. If you go and Google the title, so Alice in Van Eric Portrait by Ennis, sorry, by Tasman <laughs> uh, Beckett Griffith, you'll be able to see the originals. Uh, they come up in the images, and some of them are absolutely beautiful. I especially like the Van Gogh ones. Um, that one's, I think, designed to be like the Mona Lisa. That's why she doesn't have the eyelashes and everything. <laughs> I really like this one. Starly Dream. See the Van Gogh. So the background's done in grey again, and the foreground, all the stuff that stands out, is in black. One one. That's pretty. I think this would be a good marker one or a good watercolor one, wouldn't it? 
Yeah, I like the big eyes too. They're uh, a lot, a lot nicer. I think I saw a Sammy doing this one. Has she started this one? It's really pretty. So they're based on. <laughs> She's had a. There's a few different artists, like her interpretation of different artists of Alice, which is kind of cool. I like them. This one's a cool one. It looks like the apple. There's like people coming out of that flower. I'm not sure what that bird thing was doing. A little strange. <laughs> There's a cat there. Anyway, very much uh, lots of detail in that one. So this is a more recent one, 2016. I like this one. The original of this is really pretty too. And she's so cute. Alice and the Fawn. Oh, Alice's advice. I wonder what her advice is. <laughs> Apparently it's an original from a tarot card. Oh, that's cute. There's another card. Alice and the Flowers. This one's a pretty one too. I like that one. Alice Dreaming. This is a really old one. This is from 2005. Two thousand and six. Different shaped eyes again. <laughs> the red eye. Alice Falling. There was a, I remember watching Alice, there was an Alice movie with a pig in it. Um, I can't remember who directed it, but it was a strange Alice in Wonderland version. Alice in the Mushrooms. Another one that's an earlier one, 2004. They are different, very different. Even 2006, there's an extra circle in them. 2004, there's only sort of, they're very different. Humpty Dumpty. 2003, really early. People do <laughs> it was a weird one. <laughs> I remember watching it as a kid going, What? This is not Alice in Wonderland. There's four different images on this one. Who are you? The Cheshire Cat. The White Rabbit. Actually is that I think I've got is that in another book, the bigger picture? I don't know. I've seen that before. And this one here is the griffin. They're pretty. Little different things. Oh, look at that hand. That's just scary. Alice in Other Land series. Homage to Salvador Dali. I don't know if that's how it's pronounced. D A L I. Dali, Dali. Pop gallery. I like that one. That's cute. 
It's a shame there's not the whole pictures of those. <laughs> Maybe good bookmarks. What did Michelle say? The angry book. <laughs> Which one's the angry book? Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah, Johnny Depp's good in them. Here we go, the Mad Hatter. She looks quite bored, doesn't she? This one, it is a bit strange. <laughs> it's different. I don't mind it. So every uh, image has a little description and what she's basing it on and what her, I guess, inspiration was for the images. I love this one. It's beautiful. The Starry Night. I've got a diamond painting with the Starry Night, actually. I haven't finished it, but... And this is one of her newer ones, too. Hi, Mrs. Coffee. Welcome. Mrs. Crochet. Whichever. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I might start colouring one today. I'll see how we go. I haven't. I'll, I'll have to print it out, but um, I might start a colouring page. There's still more. Looks like another sideways one. Alice again. Fitbit alarm is going off. <laughs> I can't get to the next page. My hands are really cold and dry. <laughs> so this Alice and the Frog Footman. I can't pronounce some of these either. They've got strange names. Alice and the Dormouse. Becky, welcome. Just saw you there. Just looking through them again. I like the door, door, the other dormouse one, Alice and the dormouse again. Oh, it's a nice one. I don't know. I don't know. Should I do one today? Let's do a... I like money too. Maybe I should do a starry night. Red queen, white queen. does give her a bit of a sad look, doesn't it? I really like that one too. 
Yeah, I'm getting there. All the way back. I'll go back again. Oops. What did I do? Didn't want to go on. Cover was pulled. So I'll pop the links up. So I'll pop up where I got it from and also the Amazon link as well. So um, if you're in Australia, the Blue Angel website's actually cheaper. Um, and it came within, say, four days I got it. So uh, that might not have worked. Hang on, I'll do them separate. This one's for Blue Angel. Hi, Connie, welcome. Uh, for those that are in Australia. And this one is for Amazon. This is where I actually pre-ordered it from originally and cancelled the pre-order because it was cheaper from the publisher. I'm thinking we might do either A Starry Night or Monet. Which one? Let's have a vote quickly. A Starry Night or... Monet, where is it? This one. So there's two Alice in Monet's Water Lilies or Van Gogh's Starry Night. Starry Night? Got one for Starry Night. <laughs> Harry Knight or uh, Water Lilies, Monet, Dali, <laughs> Monet, Sorry Knight, Monet, Monet, Monet. Oh, it's going to be close. <laughs> I just have to have my tablets, guys. Let me count them. We had one, two, Three, four, five starry nights and six starry nights, seven starry nights, <laughs> and uh, one, two, three, four, five, six Monets. <laughs> Looks like we're going to go with starry night. We'll go with Starry Night. So I'll photocopy that, print it onto some marker paper of some sort. And um, while I'm doing that, I will play the video for the next book I'm doing, which is by Elizabeth Rose Best. Just pop it the blah, blah, blah. blah. Just put the link there for you and um, I'll go and copy this while it's playing. Won't be a sec.
Alrighty. So that was it. What did you think? I'm just going to uh, find the original for this one. So I can see the colours. All the colours of the wind. Anyway. <laughs> Let me find it. <clears throat> I'll also move closer again now because um, I move so far away. Oh, it's such a pretty image. Alrighty. That music was good question from Artlist. <laughs> Hang on, I'll see if I can uh, recognize it when I flick through my music. It was called, um, it was called, it was around, uh, no, I'm going to have to go back to the flip through. Hang on. It's called Believe the Hype by I Don't Know from Artlist. <laughs> uh, so Artlist has uh, a whole heap of um, music that is used. You buy a license and you have the license to that music and you can use it in videos, um, public or professional or commercial, whatever. Um, so the link for my art list is in the description below. So if you want to check it out, it's in the description right at the bottom. And um, they've got a quite a lot of rock music and I quite like it. So, you know, that's what it is. OK, just give me two secs to move the camera here again and get it a little bit closer so we can see what we're doing. Alrighty. Oh, it's on a bit of an angle. Hang on. I just didn't want to make you all dizzy, so. That's uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Except the camera's on an angle. <laughs> good distance, though. Maybe. I have to get it straight. I need like a, um, uh, what do you call it? Level, spirit level thing on it. So I, <laughs> so I can um, level it out. Oh, look at that. That came out awesome. Just move it to the side a little bit so my logo's not in the way for you. Oh, thanks, Kathy, so much. Let me know. And because uh, uh, I need the email address as well. So awesome. And then I can uh, text Dawn and get it to you. Alrighty. We're going to use markers, of course, because that's my go to when we're doing quick images. Oh, wobble the camera. Wobble, wobble. Okay, so she's a blondie. Uh, she's got blue outfit on, blue headband, and of course there's all this blue in the background. So, wow, camera doesn't like me today. Let's do some background. So this is all grey scale in the background here, and this is all darker black. And um, in the actual original image, actually, do you want me to show you the original image? We can do that. I can show you. There you go. That is the original image by Jasmine Bucket. 
So we're going to, let's try and copy it. Well, as best I can with Copic markers anyway. <laughs> Just gonna move some stuff around so I can grab out any refills I might need. It's also very organized. All right. So let's just start, well, you can't see. So let me just shrink it. Yeah, there is something in her eyes too, look at that. There's lots of detail. <laughs> All right, let's shrink her up again and we'll put her up in the top corner there maybe. Or maybe the bottom corner might be easier. Hi. Okay. Cubby's just grabbing keys. He's got to work. All right, here we go. Um, hmm. This one is brighter. It is cool, huh? All right, let me just lock it so I can't move it. And uh, let's have a play. Uh, we'll start with something dark around the outside of the image. It looks like, because we've got the gray anyway, um, I'm just gonna go over it with a little bit of Y28. So this one's called a star, uh, Alice in a Starry Night. I think it was. I'm just grabbing my markers and I will get uh, Alyssa's here to do a conversion grab my colors down so we can convert them for you to pencils for patrons so I'll post that up on patreon and if we don't finish it today I'll post the rest of the video as a raw video um, at some stage I'm just gonna put a couple of flecks of this through it's kind of like a goldy color this one called it is called gold lionet gold strange huh so there's a couple of uh, dark patches of it here a little bit kind of under that here and uh, just do around this one This one, and there's a little bit down here. So I'm just going around and checking the, that was my garage door, if you're wondering <laughs> what that noise was. It's either the dog or the cat snoring or the garage door. That's pretty good. I don't think I'm going to need much more through there. really hard to see past my mic I'm going to use some Y38 a little bit bright like this so I'll be adding some lighter colors over it just to lighten it up a little bit happy birthday Connie Oh, it's a grandson. Oh, 15. My son's 15 soon. Time flies, really. It's just a random thing time <laughs> can go so slowly or so quickly this 
not a lot of the darker colour in throughout this one, so. Shush, noisy. Hi, Leslie. Hi, Kiki. Welcome. That's okay. Um, a little bit of Y15. I'll blend that out a little bit. Make it not so bright. Well, not so dark, I should say. It looks sort of orangey, that colour. I just want to go over that and lighten it off a little bit. Really? Can you not do that, please? Thank you. Annoying. Annoying cat. <laughs> just likes to walk over me. Because you're the boss, aren't you? What are you doing? No walking. No, just stay where you are, thanks. Just stay where you are, madam. Madam. No, where are you going? Get that. No, you're not sitting there. Oh, shadow. I've got markers. You don't like markers. They yuck. Go away. Say, so go away. Oh, she's just sniffing my markers now. <laughs> Shadow, what are you doing? There we go, pats. Is that what you want? Can to kiss my markers now. No, not the camera. Not the camera. Come over this side. Come over here. Good girl. <laughs> Uh, this page is from the Alice in Wonderland book. Let me grab it. It's in my printer. <laughs> it's from this book by Jasmine Beckett Griffith. It's a book. Can you move? Yeah, good girl. She cracked it. She's gone. <laughs> I'm using wife. Excuse me, hiccups, Y15. At the moment. Not worried about going out the lines because uh, it's blue, so we're going to be able to come back over it. And I hope. Not too much of a worry. Hope it doesn't turn too green. Might. Might turn green. The uh, yellow in these sections is actually a lot lighter, so I'm going to go back in um, with a lighter yellow over the top of some of these areas. Oh, she's a funny one, Linda. She is a funny one. Let's try some Y11 for the rest of the yellow. Just that little bit lighter. There's a little bit of blue through here, so... Stick to these little circles here. She just got down. She's gone for a wander. She's like, bugger that. I'm going. <laughs> yeah, that's blue. Some of these little dots here are blue, light blue, and some of them are yellow. So I'm just trying to discern the difference. Oh, look, it doesn't have to be perfect, does it? Can I 
couple of light yellow here. Some light blue. There's about four or five different blues through there, so we're going to need to go in find some different blues. We will. And down here. These are all light colored. Yellow. Blue. Bit of a mixture of color in here. Put a bit of guesswork in there. take Nani to puppy training on the weekend. That's going to be interesting. <laughs> Who's done puppy training with their dog before? Taking my middle daughter, we're going to go do it uh, with her. I'm kind of a little bit stressed about it though. She's pretty full on. She's like really excited around other dogs. So I'm <laughs> looking forward to it. <laughs> it's going to be interesting, that's for sure. Now there's only one little spot of yellow in that section and then it's that orange colour. So that's fine. I don't think I've missed anywhere. I think that looks pretty good. Looks like there's a spot of yellow here. Done. <laughs> No, Leslie, they're not really. Um, Nani's too excitable. She wants to play with her too much and Shadow just freaks out. If she didn't bark at her, she'd probably get along with her, right? But uh, she keeps barking at her, so it's hard, hard to uh, get anything from them both. I'm going to use some B0 uh, for some of these lighter blue sections. Yeah, she just sort of runs around her and ruff, 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 and shows like, go away, I do not want that in my face. Um, so then, of course, Nani gets even more excited because she's like, she's running away, I can chase her, um, thinking it's a bit of a game, but yeah, Shadow does not like it at all. <laughs> Which is not surprising. darker blue ones down in there. It looks like there's a bit of a light blue and white in here. And this one up the top here. Oh, that's good, Michelle. I hope you do feel better. Oh, she's asleep. Awesome. <laughs> Lucky you. She's been sleeping with me the last couple of nights and uh, we've actually been getting a little bit of sleep, which is good. My breathing must be calming. <laughs> We're going to need um, some 
different types of blues I think through here so I'm going to need a couple more grab some out in a minute I think we might even need a paler blue than that so let's try some four zero just in some of these areas where it's a little bit lighter I'm going to have to leave you for a second now post you just arrived won't be a sec Back again. I got a, a package. Should we open it? It's a book. It's from Anthem Publishing. Nanny knows. <laughs> he goes, he, the, <laughs> the postman keeps calling her a pit bull. She's definitely not a pit bull. Um, Alright, let's have a look at this one. Let's just hide some of this stuff for a minute. And uh, zoom back out. Oh, look at that. It's the Halloween edition. That was actually really quick. I only just ordered it. Um, it was about a week. I also ordered the calendar, so when that comes, I'll go through that with you as well. Have you guys seen this one yet? Shadow Shh. Tabitha Thorpe is the Frightlings um, artist. Oh, they're actually quite cute. I like that. I did get it fast. They are fast when you order individual items. It's just when you've got the, the what's it called? <laughs> the subscription, it seems to take a while. The calendar, this uh, copy was $15, I think, Australian. Um, the calendar was $33 Australian, so there's a lot more for the calendar. But the calendar has thick card in it, and it's a lot larger than the book. So, aren't they cute? <laughs> I know they're creepy, but they're cute. Look at that. Oh, my God, I love his face. Sorry, he's so cute. <laughs> he reminds me of Nani. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, this is gorgeous. Oh, I love him. He's so cute. Listen to me. Oh my god, this is so cute. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> oh. They've all got names. They're cute. Hugh and Dorothy. <laughs> what a good day to get the post early. Look at those little bats. Bat brothers. Some are upside down and some are up the other way. It's a little bit confusing, but... Nani. Shadow. She's not there. 
She thought Nani was at the door, but it wasn't. <laughs> oh, Jaws one. Oh, what are they doing? Playing music? Oh no, he's reaping. Oh. So this is from Anthem Publishing. Anthem Publishing. They're here. You can see them on here. Anthem Publishing. Oh, look at this. This is what you buy it for in Australia. Um, in But the stores, if you get it from the stores, it's way more expensive. Ah, uh, she was at the door. She Shadow was upset because she was at the door. Oh, there's lots of bigger ones. He's cute. Look at his eyes. Oh, he's a bit of a mischief maker, that one. We will open the doors and flicker the lights, throw things on the floor to give you the frights. We will hunt you down and make you scream. Oh, you better be scared. It's Halloween. It's a poem. <laughs> Colouring Heaven. Yep. Anthem Publishing, Colouring Heaven. It's a special Halloween edition. Uh, it's not a part of the subscription. It's separate to that. So last year they did a mixture of um, artists for the Halloween edition. Oh... Victoria and Victoria, 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 Victor and Victoria, vampire, vampling, vampling, <laughs> daydreamers, Oh, he's called Limbo Zombie, and there's little poems, they're so cute, yeah Shadow, it's something different, no you can't climb over me, no shadow. Medusa. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Skull King. He's a cute one. Oh, there they are again. Into the night. I stole your heart. You may think it's a curse, but it's really a gift. I will kiss your neck first, and the pain will be swift. <laughs> ah. Brian, um, Prismacolor have one. Just Google Prismacolor colorless and you'll find it. And depending on what markers, most alcohol markers have their own too. A lot of bloggers do them. I've done a couple on Patreon, depending on what ones you're looking at. Oh, he's cute. I like him. <laughs> you know, there's so many of those beautiful portrait images in koi ponds. <laughs> it almost is taking the mickey out of it, isn't it? It's cute. I like it. I really like that one. I'm a relic in the ground, and one day I will be found. If you come upon my path, I will guard you from hell's wrath. Okay. He's a protector, that one. <laughs> oh. This dude, he's cool. Pyro Demonling. Bad reputation. Shadow, no. Shadow, no. Shadow, no. You can't get in the book. Stop it. Would you stop it? Please. Stop it. Stop it. Get the claws away. I'll just cover my arm. <laughs> She's very psycho tonight. Go on. Off you go. Are you going to eat my arm? You're going to eat the camera. She's not going to move. She's in a mood. Possibly. Uh, no, I think the next edition, she's psycho. <laughs> she is Abby. Uh -huh. 
Miss Steampunk. She's cute. Seriously, Shadow, can you move? <laughs> can you move? She wants something. It's not me. <laughs> She's putting her head under the book. This is cute. I'm really happy with this one. Most of the uh, Colouring Heaven magazines have got really thin paper. You can't use markers. But um, I pull mine apart and copy them if I'm going to do something out of it onto my own paper. That is cute. The Keeper. Frozen in time, I stand and stare, protecting the earth. Trespassers beware. Oh, he's cute. Vladimir Backling. The Oath. I will make you a contract, an oath of the night, written in blood for one vampire's bite. Oh, now he's in the rain. In shadow of dusk, I take to the sky in a wondrous display which you cannot deny. Oh. These are cute ass. I love their big eyes. Wolfling von Wehrling. Norseman Zombling. <laughs> oh, look at that. Enter my realm. Oh, look, she's. Look, I'm bleeding. She got me through my jumper. Little wrap bag. Go on. Go on. Done. Do you want it? Do you want the book? Do you want the book? Do you want the book? Go get the book. I forget you're not a dog. <laughs> I thought it was pretty good, yeah. Um, I don't know where you can buy the Im her Im images in general. Um, hi, Lulu. Hi, Shelly. Welcome, guys. Um, but, yeah, they, I think it's a pretty good price for them. That's why I like the Colouring Heaven magazines because they're um, – get a bit of everything – Excuse my light again, Miss Shadow is in the way. Let's keep going with this one, shall we? <laughs> She's not happy. She's extremely peeved today. Aren't you, Miss Shadow? Not happy at all. Just going in and filling out this colour. Um, some of these lighter areas. I'm going to go back to the B. Actually, I think that's still too dark, but that's all right. Need a bit of yellow there. I missed a little bit of yellow. <clears throat> Back to B40. I think we might need to put some white gel pen on those areas. The really white spots. A little bit more yellow out here. And that's blue. All over here. <laughs> ah, just do it randomly. It doesn't matter. Because we're going to have all blue in this background bit here, it's not going to matter if we go over those lines. I've done here because a fair bit of that is light coloured. Alright, now we need like a 
and no, it's like an indigo -y kind of blue. Bye, Leslie. Thanks for dropping in. Oh, I've I um have a couple of different tubed watercolors. Um, I've got some Winsor and Newton, and um. I've got a Schmincke one as well, a couple of things. I don't know what blue to use, sorry, I'm just in looking at my blues right now. <laughs> I need something that's kind of got a bit of a denim-y look to it for some of the sections. I think I'm going to go with B24. No, B23. My colour charts are really faded a lot. Just gonna scribble up here, yeah that's a good colour. Just gonna add some of this in here. It's like painted with lots of little painterly brush strokes. So that was B23, thinking maybe even a bit of B21 as well when we get down here a bit, do some of the lighter strokes. What is that there? Some sort of building? Obviously I haven't looked at the original painting enough to know. Just go that way. Try and cover up as many of the grey lines as I can too. Looks like it's going a bit of both ways there. Bye Shelley. Thanks for dropping in. these windows open from from uh, printing out the image and now I'm just gonna close them all because they're driving me nuts in the way here we go I'm actually gonna use this down here on this section here there's like a bit of light oh, that color I need a bit of lighter colour in here too. Okay, I'm going to use some B21 as well. areas it's like this is like a hill or they almost look like waves don't they in that in that uh, background area
through here we've got a couple of different colors so I'm going to use a little bit of this lighter blue and then a little bit of the B23 again around this front section I'm just making it try, trying to make it look a little bit rough um, but a little bit uniform at the same time <laughs> as you do I want to do one of the little little um, frightlings now. They're so cute. So so very cute. A little bit of this darker blue down here. Oh, that's okay. I'm just talking to myself. You know, being attacked by the cat. Um, what else happened? Well, <laughs> I've had a postman visit. It's all good. It's all good. Doing well. Got a couple of this just dink a bit here. Yeah, I'm really not sure what this top this thing is here, but in the picture it's brown, so we'll make it brown. I think it's some sort of building. Who knows? Okay, I'm going to use B23 here in her hair in this ribbon. Two B twenty one markers. I got given one. One of them's completely dry, so always make sure I pick up the right one. Going back over that. Add some of those texture lines because it's part of the actual image. So there we go. Just get rid of some of that blue I just went over the edge with. Oh no, look what I did. It's all good. Okay, now she's got the same coloured blue down here in her top. So, down here is a lot darker than. There, so I'll do dark the blue all the way down here. I think I'm going to need to add in a little bit more of a darker blue as well because it's fairly dark in this area down here. But for now, and then to get that painterly effect, I like that word painterly. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Hi, Elaine. Welcome. No worries, Kenny. Thanks so much for dropping in. Yeah, I know that does, but I'm not sure what this is. This big building thing here. It's kind of weird. Just went over the edge there. It looks like it's got a great big brown... It looks like a tower of some sort. Hmm. Don't know. I'm going to need to refill this marker. Let me just try the other B21. Bye, Lulu. Oh, that's better. Still got that sort of what do you call it? It's like the original. <laughs> Let me just enlarge it again. See how it kind of looks like it's got painted streaks through it? That's what I was trying to achieve there. I don't know if I did achieve it or not, but <laughs> I did it. <laughs> Let's go a tiny little bit darker on that with maybe a little bit of the B24. Adding a couple of little dark strokes through there. It's not really much different to the other colour actually. That was B24, I've just got a little bit more B23. I think the B23 is actually darker, but anyway. Back to B21. news anything new going on tiny little bit of B four zero across the top of some of those peaks there I'm gonna go with some B37 down into here here we're going to need to go over with some white gel pen and paint pen to add in some of these highlights I think Just be bold and add some darker, richer colours in there. There's actually a whole heap of different colours in here. Oh yes, you better come and get your groceries. That'll be good. Bye Phoenix, thank you. Um, <laughs> I love that, to get my groceries. Yep, 
sure, no problems, I went shopping for you. Is it finished now, Linda, the grocery thing? I just heard Nani get into trouble. Alyssa is yelling. <laughs> no. Don't do it. Bye Dawn. Who's, where's Dawn? Going? <laughs> Everyone's leaving me today. <laughs> I want to colour a Frightling. I'm totally into Frightling right now. Let's do that on Monday. They're cute as. Maybe I'll do one for Patreon. They're just very cute. Does anyone know? The, is it Tabitha? Is that her name? Does she sell on Etsy as well? No, to me, see you. MyFrightlings.com Tabitha Thorpe. Hmm. Who knows? Just adding a little bit of this darker blue through here. Cups. This section's kind of going off in two directions. not exact but you know it looks pretty good it's a bit of a mixture of everything mixed into one She does have an Etsy store making myths. Okay, cool. Because, um, you know, for those that can't get the special, if I can get, if the images can be purchased somewhere else, that's better. For everybody. Well, I think that's better for everybody. Now I need another sort of denim coloured blue. This time I'm going to go with the 95, 90, sorry, 95 maybe? No, let's go B97 first. Uh, let's see, 7, B97, which is a little bit lighter than this blue that we've been using. But it's only slightly lighter, so... Add that in through here a little bit. Maybe like little 
I don't even know. They almost look like roses, but they're like circular things. They might be hay bales in the fields, maybe. Maybe. There's lots of different colours through here. I'm just going to add some of this blue. A little bit more through the sky here. What? Oh, I missed. Sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's an event sparkling death head moth sticker in maybe in serious trouble. <laughs> okay. Hi, your girl. Thank you. I use a um inkjet it's epson workforce <laughs> thank you very much it's an a3 printer just helps me with the larger images and odd sized books too. Some books are just that little, like this square, they're just that little bit bigger and they don't quite fit under a regular scanner. So um, it's good having a a a, a, a three <laughs> English there. English is a really strange language. Who would agree? <laughs> I think, I think I've used enough of this colour. I think I need to move on to the next lightest colour. We're going to go with B95. A little bit lighter. Start to fill in some of these gaps. hair there. I'm just looking at the original image to see uh, where things might fit. Just starting to fill in some of these gaps. I think I'm going to need to get some gouache, 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 gouache. <laughs> Another one that I don't know how to say properly. And uh, flick it through some of these really light white areas on the actual painting. I don't I can't I don't think I can achieve that by just using the paper.
So I'm trying not to blend too much out in these areas because we want to try and keep those lines to make it look like it's been painted, you know, with streaks and a paintbrush. So I'm trying to keep those lines, that texture in there if I can. Oh, this one has so much detail. Who decided to do this one? Come on. Oh, yeah, that was me. That's right. <laughs> you voted. It's starting to fill in nicely, isn't it? myself thinking to myself so I think I'm actually probably the next day I'll just do a speed coloring and a flip through of Hannah Calzone's book with the witch that I finished last week in it and then I hopefully by Wednesday I'm going to be able to get Christine Karen's new book flip through out with a Patreon video and um, I just got an email from I think it's pronounced Shintaka Harris uh, he's got a new book August for every three coming out so I might do that uh, at some stage maybe actually we might do that on Monday do an image out of that I wasn't really happy with the image that I did from the Renaissance book, which I did live, didn't come out how I wanted it to. <laughs> so maybe one from the new book will. A real mixture of light and dark in this area. Oh, there is cool. I'll have to check it out. Check out that uh, Etsy store, I think. I really want to do a dragon from the new book, too. That dragon dragons assortment I just don't have enough time guys give me more time in the day look it's nearly daylight savings I'm sure that's going to help me <laughs> get in for our beautiful long summers this uh, pen's running out so it must be time to change to a different colour I think It looks kind of streaky and uh, random and out of place. That's good. <laughs> I need to add another colouring. Um, let's go with some B93. It's looking more like a denim colour actually. And what I might do is, I think I might come back in with some gouache. Let's do that next. I'll just fill out this section and finish this sky part. And I think we'll use some white to go in and just sort of, I guess, get it to go in together. What am I trying to say? <laughs> Getting it a little bit smoother, maybe? Getting rid of some of these... Uh, gray lines that are in there 
adding in a bit of white will help to cover those up. I'm really happy with the amount of blues that we've used. I think that's giving it a really nice look. I could so get used to painting like this. I think he had the right idea, Mr. Van Gogh. <laughs> it's quite easy going and uh, relaxing. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Van Gogh would be proud. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Alright, got a bit of white gouache. I'm going to use, I use Art Spectrum brand. It's cheap. Cheaper than some of the others. It's not cheap, cheap. Okay, so let's just go in and start adding in some white. Just like to use it neat. Going over some of these lines. Now there's not really any in this sort of outside section, but I'm just going to go inside this sort of swirl. And add a little bit in here. You know, you could use that uh, Copic white ink to do this too. The opaque one. I did have a little bit, Linda, let me try it. It's pretty good. It just reminds me of this, but it's white ink instead of paint. Just trying to keep that sort of curved look that's already in it, just following it around. Every time I think of Van Gogh, I think of um, the episode of Doctor Who with him in it. Poor man. Alicia and I are big Doctor Who fans, aren't we Alicia? <laughs> Hi Gary's, welcome. <laughs> what song? I've never heard that Deb. covering up some of those grey sections looks quite good doesn't it I quite like that just done really thick in some sections and really light in others to get rid of some of that drawing underneath Let's just 
do a few spots through here too. really quite light up here on the top so it's not exactly the same but we get the idea <laughs> it's just going to put a few highlights through here top of the hill there get rid of some of those lines Quite like that. Looking quite good. Let's do a few across the top there. Still not happy with this bit. And all this, there's not really any white up here either. But I'm just gonna add some in. Get rid of our line a bit. happy with that that looks good it's a fair bit of oopsies that's a lot of white <laughs> there's a fair bit of white down here you mean oopsies it's all good there's a fair bit of white in this one down here so I'm just gonna paint over some of that I love it. Oopsies. <laughs> it needs white. It needs um yellow. So I might use a little bit of yellow um, Posca pen. I just have to wash my brush a bit there. Did I see your tea party coloured image on Friends Who Colour banner? I don't know, did you? Possibly. Elaine, thank you. I am, um, I'm not sure. I am not sure. That's why. We want yellow. I'm just going to go in, in here and add some yellow Posca pen. Just increasing some of the details, going over some of those lines. That's what I want to get rid of the lines. So, we shall do that with this Posca pen, this magic pen that I have here. That you probably won't be able to see very well because it disappears under the scanner for some reason. Do you find that Elaine with your new scanner Posca pen white a colored Posca pen just doesn't uh, doesn't scan up it's weird. Just covering up some of those gray lines in there. That gouache doesn't look so messy now. It's like it's 
fitting in there a little bit better. Messy. Just going to clean my Posca off now. I've got a bit of the gouache on it. All right. I think that's pretty good. What do you guys think? Give me a yo. What do you think? That was actually quite fun. There you go. I recreated some of Van Gogh's painting. Not very well, but you know. <laughs> all the links for all of the books that I use today are in the description below, too, guys. So if you want to grab one, grab it. Um, and Joe Beth was just telling me that the Frightlings, uh, Frightlings Tabitha Thorpe has a uh, Etsy store, which I haven't had a look, but <laughs> yeah, Joe Beth, <laughs> the syphilis <laughs> oh dear, um, was making myths. Let me see if I can grab that link for you uh, so that it's there as well. Let's see. Uh, I hate the Etsy shop on my computer. It doesn't search properly. Shop names. Tabitha Jade. I found you. Lovely lady. Here we go. Wait, shop, making myths. I found it. Yay, let me just get rid of the AU because not everybody's in Australia, so this will take you to the general site. There you go. For those that were looking for it. Oh, she's got some cool stuff. Dragons and ghosts. Oh, sparkly. Oh. Ooh, I see what you mean. <laughs> Are they stickers? They're cool. Thanks, Michelle. I got it. I got it. I got it. No coloring images. Oh, maybe on her website. Oh, come on. Come on. Why not? I'm finding that some of the artists that do that that kind of thing have been coming along and joining Patreon uh, and doing coloured images through Patreon, which is kind of cool because that means we can get some that way. Why would she go in the Colouring Heaven magazine if she doesn't have colouring pages to sell? Does that seem strange to you? It seems strange to me. I don't know. Just got white Posca pen and I'm just going around some of those grey lines that I've left in there. Covering them over a little bit. There's no logic. There's no logic. Sparkly stickers. Yeah. There is no logic. Anyway. I didn't get much finished, did I? Oh, I'll have to do it on Patreon. Sorry, guys. What a pain. I could just speed colouring and a flip through of it, though, for those that aren't on Patreon and want to see how it ended up looking. Um, these Monday images have been becoming our Patreon images. And I just love my markers. I'm just using the colourless blender and I was just taking out some of the colour from her hair because she's got blonde hair so uh, it's actually going to uh, you're actually going to be able to see that through there. So just getting rid of some of that. But yeah. Hey 
need a container again. <laughs> yeah, true, uh, Loretta, true. Look, big thank you guys for hanging around. Um, and ta-da, I'll finish the rest on Patreon at some stage this week. It, may, it won't be today, but perhaps tomorrow I'll be able to get some of that done. But I do have some recording to do for you guys too. So I'll try the best I can to get it done this week. Thank you very much guys for watching and um, if you haven't already make sure you subscribe, click thumbs up and I'm done. If there was anything I've forgotten. Also to Kathy, don't forget to email me your choice for your prize for Friday uh, so that I can get that out to you as well. Big hugs and love to you all. Bye from all of us and I'll see you next time. See you Friday for the next colour along week. Don't forget all the links are in the uh, description except for the Frightlings one which I've just posted in the... Yeah, I might do that too. <laughs> in the, the website um, for Tabitha... What was it? Tabitha Thorpe. But thank you again guys. Bye!